Hey Grace Posse, welcome back to the Daily Devotion. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to wrap this week up with, with friends like these. Our focal passage is going to come from Job chapter 42 verse 10 which says, And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. With friends like these, Job didn't need enemies. <coughs> oh sure, Job's friends meant well. As soon as they had heard about Job's devastating calamities, the loss of his vast property and possession, the death of his ten children, his disfiguring and debilitating skin condition, they rushed to his side to confront him, or to com comfort him. It was sort of a confronting as well. Seeing his suffering, they said nothing for a week. But when they spoke to to Job, they were almost relentless in their attempts to persuade him that his suffering was the result of his sin. Eliphaz stated that Job must confess the sins in which he had been was being punished. Bildad maintained that God rejected Job because Job refused to accept God's fair and just punishment. Zophar accused Job of being wicked, proud, and too ignorant to understand God's ways. Under the weight of the accusations of these three friends, Job began to question the fairness and justice of God. And seeing God as silent, Job asked to plead his case in God's court. Then a, a true friend, Elihu, arrived to give Job good counsel. Elihu explained that God was not silent but speaks to us in dreams and visions. Most importantly, Elihu said the suffering is not punishment for sin, but designed to draw us closer to our just and caring God. As soon as Elihu finished, God spoke to Job from the whirlwind. When God finished, Job repented for questioning God's goodness. But when God turned to Eliphaz and Bildad and Zophar, he defended Job and expressed his anger against the three for misrepresenting him. God told Job to pray for his three friends, and once Job did, God restored Job's fortunes. We all have friends who, though they mean well, can lead us away from God instead of towards Him. Rather than following them, we need to pray that God leads them and us on the right path. And we need to look for and listen to true friends such as Elihu. So let's look at this passage in context. Job 42, 7 through 13, and then 16 and 17. And the Lord spoke, uh, the Lord has spoken these words to Job. And the Lord said to Eliphaz, the Temanite, My anger burns against you and against your two friends, for you have not spoken of me with what is right, as my servant Job has. Now therefore, take seven bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up a burnt offering for yourselves. And my servant Job will pray for you, and I will accept his prayer, not to deal with you according to your folly. For you have not spoken of me what is right, as my servant Job has. So Eliphaz the Temanite, and Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Namanite went and did what the Lord had told them to do, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then he came to him and all of his brothers and sisters and all that had known him before and ate bread with him in his house. And they showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a ring of gold. And the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than the beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, 1,000 female donkeys, and had also seven sons and three daughters. And after this, Job lived 140 years, and saw his sons and his sons' sons four generations, and Job died an old man and full of days. 
So let's look at some questions that we can reflect on and draw some application from. Do you have friends like Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar? Why do you have these friends? Do you have friends like Elihu? How did you become friends with them? When do you lean upon them? When do you lean when do they lean upon you? What steps can you take to cultivate friendships with men who will strengthen your relationship with God? Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the friends who try to help but not hurt instead. Give us discernment in our friendships and relationships. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you next time.